Hi, welcome back. Praying Mantis says hi, everybody. We're here today to tell you the story of the princesses and the king shuck tree. So relax and sit back and listen. Hmm. This story was from a long time ago in an ancient land far away when palaces were grand and there were kings and queens and princesses. And in this palace lived four princesses. It was a beautiful, vast palace with grounds all around it full of wonderful trees, orchards and fruits of every kind, vegetable gardens and flower gardens, and even there were animals of all sorts. The princesses had all sorts of playthings and pets to play with. And in their library, they could learn any kind of knowledge they wanted to learn. But there was one thing that they had heard of that existed on the grounds of their palace that they had not seen, and it was a magical tree. They weren't sure it existed, but just to be sure, they asked the person who knew everything about the garden, the gardener. And indeed, the gardener said, yes, there is a magical tree that lives in the garden. And the reason no one knows about it is because you can only see the magical tree on your birthday. The princesses, of course, wanted to see this magical tree. So the gardener promised to take each one on their birthday to see the tree. And so it was on the birthday of the oldest daughter, which was in the spring, the gardener took her to the place where the tree was. And she came upon the tree and she looked at it. And she could tell that it was the magical tree because the gardener could not see it at all. And she saw the most beautiful sparkling buds of green, just like emeralds and the dew shone from them and it made her feel vibrant and new and alive and it gave her energy and she just felt the life bursting up from her it just brought her so much joy she was so grateful to see it and the gardener said you must not talk about it with your other sisters lest it will ruin their experience so she kept it private and then very soon in the summer, it was time for the next eldest daughter's birthday. And on that day, she went to the tree and she looked at the tree and she, do you know what she saw? She didn't see the same thing. She saw big, beautiful blossoms, big red blossoms, just like rubies. And the smell that came off the blossoms was so heavenly. And it just filled her with so much happiness and lifted her spirits high in the air. It was the most beautiful thing she had ever experienced. <sighs> and the gardener told her, you must not share this with your sisters lest it ruin it for them. So very soon, it was the third eldest daughter's turn to go into the garden. And now the season was fall. And she went into the garden with the gardener, finding the tree herself. And what a marvel to behold. It was beautiful, big, purple fruits hanging down from it beautiful like amethyst and shimmering just full and potent with juiciness and ripeness and it made her feel wonderful like something coming out of her and being born and she wanted to start new projects and she just sort of had a fire for life and passion ignited in her heart and the smell of the fruit was so exotic. And the gardener said to her, you must not tell your sisters lest it ruin their experience. So she did not, she kept it to herself. And very soon after that, the season changed to winter and the youngest daughter, the last princess, went to see the tree on her birthday with the gardener and the, they went out this time at night on a full moon. And when she went out to see the tree, it was sparkling 
all the branches were covered in a beautiful crystal like ice and it looked like diamonds sparkling in the moonlight and it made her feel warm and cozy on that cold winter night and it it glowed in the beautiful moon and so she was so excited to go and share this with her sisters and the gardener said oh yes it's time for you and all of your sisters to share your experiences together so when she went back all the sisters were excited to finally talk about the king shuck tree that they had seen in the royal gardens and the youngest sister started and she said it's like diamonds shimmering and it made me so feel so warm uh, and the second oldest sister said, no, no, it's like an amethyst with beautiful big purple fruits. And it made me feel on fire. No, 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 said the second oldest sister. She said, there were beautiful red blossoms with a heavenly scent. And they made me feel light as air. And so happy. No, said the eldest sister, that is not the tree I saw. The tree that I saw had beautiful emerald colored buds that made me feel like running water, running free. And if they had not been better behaved, you better believe they would have had an argument right there. But the gardener just laughed and say, he said, well, of course, each of you visited the tree in different seasons and saw different parts of the tree. Only by speaking together can you learn about all of the tree. So we must all share our knowledge to find out all of the aspects of something. All of the characteristics. Right? And so the princesses learned that when they talk to each other, they learn more about the tree together than they had alone. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed this story from Praying Mantis and Karen. Namaste.